Hey everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I'm back today with a 12 by 12 scrapbooking layout. I'm going to be scrapbooking this sweet little photo of my great niece and I'm going to be using the beautiful Felicity Jane Catherine kit as well as this really adorable cut file that's from an Etsy shop online. I will leave a link to that cut file for you in the description box below. I'm just showing you the papers that are part of the Catherine collection, the kit. I uh, absolutely love this kit. I love Felicity Jane. I think that the, the papers, the embellishments, everything are genius. Every single month, uh, Gina comes up with something really different and unique in each kit. Um, beautiful color scheme always. I love how the kits coordinate with each other. And this, um, the pa I love how the papers have that have white on them are a true white base. That's one of the things that I absolutely adore about Felicity Jane. This is not a sponsored video. I bought this kit. I'm not promoting it for Felicity Jane. I'm sharing it with you because I love the product. It's amazing and it's, it's definitely my style. It really does fit my style of scrapbooking and uh, totally beautiful. So I just thought that this particular kit went really well with the photograph that I wanted to work on today. So I'm going to be backing this cut file with some of the papers from the Catherine kit. And I'm just going to show you how I go about doing that with one of the stripes on this rainbow. And then I will do the rest of the backing off camera, but I just wanted to show you here uh, one of the techniques that you can use to back a cut file if you've never done this before. What I'm going to do is trace the inside of that space on that first strip of the umbrella, of the, not umbrella, rainbow. And then what I will do is fussy cut around the outside edge of that and then glue it onto the back of the cut file and really super simple process, but it, it is a really um, effective technique. I really love how the pieces look when they're backed with this, with the pattern paper. I think it's really cool. So you'll just see me here taking my cutter B scissors and I'm going to just go ahead and cut around the outside edge of that stripe that I have traced there. And then I will glue that, like I said, just by adding some glue onto the back of the cut file and gluing it onto the top of this pattern paper. And that's going to work perfectly to back that section of the cut file with, which is with that really pretty little, um, Swiss dot kind of a mint green pattern paper that is absolutely adorable. I love this uh, color scheme of the Catherine kit. It's just beautiful. Now, one of the things that I am going to take you through the process of today here is using some of the Heidi Swap toner ink and some Tim Holtz stamps, some Stampers Anonymous stamps to do a little bit of foiling on the background of my uh, paper here today. So when I'm done backing the cut file and here you can just see that I'm erasing my pencil marks before I go ahead and glue the cut file onto that pattern paper. I'm gonna just kind of clean my desk off here and go ahead and get that adhesive with my fine line bottle here. I do have some scotch tacky glue in that fine line bottle. The great thing about the scotch tacky glue is it's just the right viscosity for that fine needle of that bottle and it doesn't get clogged or anything like that and it flows nicely but not it's not too uh, liquidy so it's just the right amount of um, thickness for that fine tip. So there you can just see I'm gluing that onto that pattern paper and then I'm going to off camera finish that up and then we'll be ready to go on to the next step, which I believe is going to be the um, toner ink part of this process, which is pretty fun. It actually is the first time that I've tried it since I got my toner ink, which I think I've had for a couple of weeks now. And uh, I had a lot of fun using it here today. It was uh, pretty cool. I like how I like how it turns out. I think you will too. I think it's a, a pretty neat effect on the background of my project here. So there you can see that cut files all backed with the papers from the Catherine uh, collection. And this is sort of where I thought I would put the photograph and I'm going to use a piece of basil texture cardstock, some avalanche cardstock for my base. Now, before I do my toner, uh, I did forget that I also have to do a little bit of mixed media here, um, or I didn't have to, but I wanted to. 
So I haven't uh, applied any gesso or anything like that to my paper. I'm just going to use a small amount of water, not much at all. I'm taking my brayer and I've watered down some Oom Pah Pah Pink, Lindy Stamp Gang Magicals. And I'm just taking my brayer and just dipping my brayer into those magicals and then just really lightly putting that onto the paper to add a little bit of color. And what I really love about those magicals is that uh, at least the ones with shimmer have just a really pretty sparkle and shine. And I really wanted to add a little bit of shimmer to the background of my project. I'm just going to dab up a little bit of the excess of those splatters and that brayered um, pigment that's on there and you can see that now I'm just going to add the cut file back on and I'm noticing that I would like a little bit more of that pink on there. This pink is pretty bright. It isn't really exactly the right tone of pink to go with a pink that is in the the Catherine kit but that is okay. I am just going to do a little bit of um white uh, acrylic paint over top just to tone it down just a tiny little bit so you'll see me doing that here in a minute so I'm just going ahead with my Vicky Booten brush here and I'm just going to splatter some more of that color on there I will dab up the excess and um, go ahead then and I'm just going to grab a little bit of that acrylic paint like I said and tone that um, bright pink down a little bit. I do add a little bit of yellow onto the background as well. And I think I did that off camera, but I just wanted to add a little bit of yellow there to complement and bring out the yellow that is in the Catherine collection products that I'm using here in the pattern paper and some of the other embellishments that I will be using to embellish the layout so you can see here picking up some of that acrylic paint that is just some Dina Wakely uh, white acrylic paint and I'm just gonna brush that over there a little bit and I like how that just adds a little bit more texture and just tones down that pink just a tiny little bit now you'll just see here I'm taking uh, an eyedropper it's not really an eyedropper do you know what this thing is I think it's one of those medicine droppers that I have had since my kids were little and I am now going to be using that for <laughs> toner ink. So now you just see I'm picking up some of that toner ink on my Tim Holtz glass mat here and I just brayered it over top of my stamp and now I'm just going to take the stamp and stamp that toner ink onto my project. I got two two applications out of one amount of the toner ink on there and I'm going to do that again so that I'm going to stamp that text out four times. Now I've ran that through my uh, laminator with some um, reactive foil from Heidi Swap and that is just beautiful on this background. I love it. It's subtle it's not over the top. I used the, the um, mint green reactive um, reactive foil and it just looks really pretty with the mint color of uh, cardstock that's in the kit or pattern paper I should say and I love this. I think that's a, just a really subtle but beautiful addition to the background for the base of my project here. And this is, that was super easy to do. I cleaned the ink up with, um, just with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and, or I think it's uh, isopropyl, 90% isopropyl or something like that is what I used. And I cleaned the stamps with my archival, um, or maybe, no, actually it was stays on. I cleaned it with stays on uh, ink cleaner to clean up the stamps. So the cleanup was actually pretty simple. Uh, it didn't take me much time. And I totally followed the instructions from Tim Holtz when he and Heidi Swap had their Instagram session where they were talking about the different aspects of the toner ink and some different things you can try with it and whatnot. And I didn't have any trouble at all using this on this textured cardstock. There was, you know, it didn't uh, damage my paper when I foiled with it, nothing. There was no problems. It was super easy to do. And um, 
yeah, I just love the effect. So now I'm just popping up my rainbow cut file here on some foam adhesive. You can see that I've added a layer of tissue paper to my photo mat and uh, I've also matted my photo with one of the journaling cards from the Catherine kit. I added a little bit of black and white paper to each side of the photo and I definitely have distressed the edges of some of those layers in the photo mat. And now I'm just taking the embellishments, popping some of them up on some foam adhesive around my photo and adding just some little bits and pieces from the kit here and there to embellish. But you know what, I'm not going to go over the top with adding things to this because I feel like that really pretty... Um, distressing in the background the the foiling and the the magicals and this cut file this is enough I don't need to add too much and I just love that one two three four five those um, die cuts from the Catherine kit up in the corner there I think that's so sweet I think it's you know something that you would do with a child is count um, sometimes if you a child is, has picked a flower and maybe they're picking the petals off of it and they're counting like I just thought the counting piece was really cool for this layout of this sweet little girl and then I just added the puffy alphas spelled out the word fun underneath the numbers and now I'm taking a heart stamp and this one is actually from the hope kit and I'm taking some Simon Says Stamp cotton candy pigment or uh, dye ink and adding a few little hearts here and there and my layout's going to be finished. I had so much fun making this. And I know that um, my scrapbooking layouts lately on YouTube here have been far and few between, but uh, just I'm excited to be back on here today with just a layout for fun. And I hope you enjoyed watching this. I know I had a lot of fun making it. So have an amazing day, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. Hope to see you here again on my channel another time. Bye-bye.